So when you hear the word flagship killer, you think about OnePlus devices, a phone that gives you top of the line specs at almost half the cost. And for years, OnePlus have held that mantle, but something changed. Over the years, OnePlus have changed. It's no longer the flagship killer. It's now a overhyped high-end device just like the rest of them. So who would take over the mantle of flagship killer? Welcome to the Realme GT, a smartphone that has it all, top of the line specs at almost half the cost. Is this phone will win in 2021? Let's find out. What's up everybody, this is Hector Tech Preacher. So I've been using the Realme GT for about a week now, and this phone is very interesting. Let me give you my thoughts about this device. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So I've been using the Realme GT for about a week now, and I can tell you that this device right here is a breath of fresh air. So let's talk about what comes in the box. First of all, the box is ultra premium. And looking at the size of this box, you know they paid a lot of attention to details. When opening the box, you are greeted with a welcome message, and it's really nice, good professional message, right? When opening up the first box, you're greeted with a case and a quick start guide. Next, you get the device itself, followed by a charger, uh, which is USB-A to USB-C. Next, you get one of the biggest chargers I've ever seen. We got a 65 watt super dark charger that can charge this device from zero to 100% in 35 minutes, which is insanely fast. So when we talk about flagship killers, we got to talk about the specs. The Realme GT has a huge 6.4 inch Super AMOLED, 120 Hertz, 360 Hertz touch sampling rate, 1080p display. We got the Snapdragon 88 processor with either eight or 12 gigs of RAM. You can get this with 128 or 256 gigs of internal storage, no SD card support. On the rear, you got a triple setup. Uh, you got 64 megapixel ultra wide, you got a eight megapixel wide and a two megapixel macro lens on this device. And then in the front, you got a 16 megapixel camera. So for video, this device can shoot 4K up to 60 frames per second. And powering this device, you got a 4,500 milliamp battery. And cooling this device, you got this stainless steel cooling system. And as far as the weight, it's super slim and light, and it comes at about 186 grams. And lastly, this device is running Android 11 with the Realme UI 2.0. So when you get this device, you get it all, baby. You get it all. So let's talk about the design of the Realme GT. And as y'all guys know, I'm a sucker for designs. Uh, this one of the best looking phones I have in my arsenal. Uh, the Realme GT has a two-tone vegan leather here on the back. It has some type of anti-order uh, crack treatment material here that uh, has a fingerprint resistance, which is really nice. You got a black racing strip that's going along the back uh, that kind of remind you of a racing car. Obviously, I got the racing yellow color here. Now, this phone comes in three colors, uh, and I have the racing yellow here. Uh, they got the dash in silver, and you got the dash in blue. The racing yellow is the one that I would go with. I mean, this is a beautiful, this absolutely gorgeous, classic device. Uh, they did a really good job when it come down to the material and the build quality here on the Realme GT. I mean, it's very classy. So let's talk about the display. This display is beautiful, 6.4 inches. And I really, really like watching movies and reading text on this device. The colors are very vibrant. Uh, also, the blacks are very nice. 
and deep. And you have 120 hertz, which is really good. And it got the 360 hertz touch sampling rate, which is very responsive. So using this device, I mean, it is very responsive. As soon as you touch the screen, uh, it responds to touch very well. Also, when it comes down to brightness, you get a thousand nits here, which you have no problem seeing this outside. Uh, but overall, the display on here is really good. So let's talk about the performance of the Realme GT. This device has an 88 processor with eight to 12 gigs of RAM. So playing games and opening apps was a breeze. Also, uh, there's a gaming space mode on here that gives you information about frame rates, performance optimization, and stuff like that. So when I was playing my favorite game, I was getting 100 to 120 frames per second, which gives me smooth gameplay. Also, the device stayed really cool. I guess the stainless steel vapor cooling system on this device keeps the device very cool with high frame rates. So that's really good. Surprisingly, this device stayed really cool for playing games for a long period of time. So Realme really did, they, did a good job when it come down to keeping this device cool for a long period of time. So there's a lot to talk about with this device, which I really like. The Realme GT is feature pack. And one of the standout features that pretty much blew me away is the dual external speakers. Wow, they sound really good and loud. Let me let you guys listen to a quick sample of the speakers here on this device going against my Galaxy S21 Ultra. So check this out. Okay, so some of the other features of the Realme GT, this device have OTG reverse charging, it has a headphone jack, it has a GT mode that maximizes the phone performance even though it's fast, uh, it has Dolby Atmos for sound, it has a ton of customizations with themes, icon styles, app layouts, and more. I mean, this device is feature pack. I mean, I could talk on and on about all the features that this device have. Okay, so let's talk about these cameras. Look, I only been having this device for about a week. I have a bunch more testing to do with this device along with comparisons. So I have to do a lot of testing with this device so y'all guys can see how good or how bad these cameras are. But using it so far, the cameras look really good. This device is loaded with features such as Pro Mode, Do View Video, Slow Motion. It also have a 64 megapixel photo option. You got Portrait Mode, you got Night Mode, and much more. Let me show you guys some samples of this camera in action. So check this out. So here's my conclusion, and I have further testing to do with this device. Is the Realme GT a flagship killer at 599 bucks? The short answer to that question is yes. This device is feature pack, and I haven't even scratched the surface of everything that this device could do. It has top of the line specs, great performance, a great design, beautiful display, awesome speakers, a headphone jack, do SIM support plus 5G. Now I've tested this device on US Mobile, T-Mobile, and AT&T, and I'm peaking out at about 4G LTE. Now uh, I'm getting okay speeds on LTE. Uh, your speeds may vary. Now as far as battery life, I didn't talk too much about battery life because I've been only having this device for about a week. So far the battery life has been really good, but with the 65 watt charger, 
35 minutes of charging, I'm okay. Overall, I really like this device. Now, a disclaimer, Realme sent me this device for review, but everything that I say in this, in this video is my thoughts and opinions of having this device after a week. So I will continue to give you guys my thoughts and opinion about this device uh, as I review this phone for the next couple of weeks, months, and, and so on. So stay tuned and subscribe. I got a lot of coverage with this device. This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Ruby GT and all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Woo, peace. Dan Tanner.